Uh, Ends gonna be starting on the T side. Estrada's on the CT side, so... Here we go, Yampi starting off. Nice kill, taking down Dupree, putting an end to the dance rather quickly. And look at this. Yeah, uh, they shut it down with the quickness. Bomb is gonna get planted. And there's nobody in position to stop anything or get really even close to this. Snappy and Mega's just now rotating in towards ramp room. They're doing it cautiously. Device is still outside with Yugi. They're chasing down Alu, but they've got to turn around and come down to the bomb. So here we go. These are the first two players to actually try and make this happen. Ariel finds a kill. Megas falls back, and there's no chance Astralis gets into this pistol. I think they were so far away when the bomb went down, they might have almost just, you know, just walked away at that point and said, you know what, whatever. Like, we'll try again some other time. Yeah. As, what can it say first? I don't know. Well, it's too soon to call, Jason. I might be a genius. You, it's not clear yet. Smoke goes down. Up uh, by Hut or by Mini, I think. Mace with a good return. The AK will live on. And can they go and pick up another one? Maybe. Looks like all events are on the other side. 45 seconds, and they're going to be entering the bomb side. Magus, smoke up, and he's going to fall back around the corner. They come through the smoke, and he's not quite ready. I mean, he was, but not getting the kill. You give with a good headshot, and it's a two-on-two, -two, and they're very low on health. And look at Snappy. Comes charging out the vent. That needed to be a kill, and it wasn't. The MP5 from Yampi will take care of him, and Ariel smartly waiting for Yugi to push around, so... Has taken up the position that, uh, the Glaive usually operates. He's missing that piece of the puzzle, and Device gets caught out in the open. Wow. He was just out for a stroll in the sun. Magisk is on the stairs, and... Ready in case they show up, creeping in with the AWP. That's, uh, not a bad fight, and a nice shot from Yampi taking down Magisk. Oh man, that's looking really calculated. Dupree trying to see if he could swing into lobby to maybe catch someone off guard. That's not going to happen. So, okay, we'll take him down. And things are looking uh, really bright for Ents here in this first buy round of Astralis. Well, you can just wait. He can take all the guns away. He knows where Yugi is as well. If they want to be really ruthless, they can actually chase after this final weapon. Going to go down for free in that scenario. So, it's a good thing they've capitalized on it now because they might not get another opportunity. Flames and HE grenades is not exciting. I, I don't, I'm not sure that fits the bill. Oh, Sunny will go down, and that's the bomb, and a nice follow-up from Aegis. That actually brings them right back in the lead. Smoke is going to be going up as well. Does he push through it? Alu is the kind of player that just might try it, but not today. Ah, I can't believe that's got stopped at that angle, Yugi! Timing not with him. Sergei's got the upper bomb site and he's acting as if they like have the bomb and they're ready to go <laughs> and they're ready to get it planted, but he's gotta go down the vent. <laughs> I think Alu Alu just reminding him, bro, the, the bomb is the bomb is down here. We gotta pick that up. Twenty seconds. They're gonna swing for it. Good shot there. Magus is down. Snappy now waiting for it. Fifteen seconds. They need to basically run to get here, and I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to. It's very tricky, Snappy. Oh, they come right for him. Oh, and Sergey with a headshot and steal the round. That is amazing. Yeah, it could. No one's throwing one. They're just sneaking in, but that's just perfect, apparently. Alu with a crouching headshot, and this is dangerous to peek up from heaven here. There's so many people down there. They need to get more people in here, Astralis. Good transfer from Dupree, swinging right down to drop Sergey. And this is a round that Astralis, I just don't think they're going to be able to lose it here. They will pick up one to the seven of us ends, and they're on the ball finally. They land all the way back at hell, I think, so... Yeah, they want to push really aggressively. Ariel charging in on top, jumping down, and oh, it's a headshot right through the smoke. I actually love that play. He does get traded, but they have the smoke at hell all the way through to try and make sure that no one could revenge it. Snappy and Device coming in with a couple more. So ends in spite of the high octane start to the round, kind of getting foiled here early on, which is a real shame. I actually love that play. I do too, but I uh, yeah, I, I just... Ariel was so aggressive with that jump over the smoke as well. I think there was a different way to, to maybe even build a second kill on top of it. Regardless, I think the real issue that Entz is having at the moment is attacking Secret, where Device has an AWP. Good double kill from Snappy. Go downstairs. They've already dropped defense. And again, Device is going to be here. We've seen this play out plenty of times. Nothing to force him off the angle. Nothing to distract him. And he's going to get a double kill. Ariel can't even shoulder peek a shot. There's Snappy, who's already fallen down, so yeah, the lo Ooh. <laughs> Sonny. A one tap, that's he, a thing of beauty. He had had enough. He just didn't want to deal with this anymore. 
Well, Bomb is being attempted. Sunny goes down, and now Sergey in an impossible one versus four, getting shot in the front, in the back, and everywhere else. It's Device to pick him up. Uh, that's an incredible round. That's three kills from Device in that one. Last time they just walked out of Squeaky, and as the smoke... Oh, dear. That's not <laughs> ideal. The follow-up. <laughs> Magus puts it down. That's perfect. That's going to force him back Wait, away from seconds. the door. Another nade to do damage. Yeah, and Magus is here to put a stop to this. Swings for it, taking care of Yampi, and will follow it up. Alu now in a one versus three with 15 seconds. The bomb is dropped all the way on the other side. He has to run back and pick it up while he's getting shot in the back. Really uncomfortable. I don't think he has time. It's a nice idea. It's a cool effort, but he'll <laughs> run out of time. So it will be a sixth round for Estradas here, even as Alu tries his best. We have Hot Sunny trying to make some noise out here. I don't think he's actually distracting anyone. There's a lot of people on this A defense right now. They're trying to get through Sergey with an opening, dropping Yugi. That is so huge, and they're going to get a straight bomb plant. I thought there was. I actually thought Magus was inside, and I actually thought one of those people down on the lower side was inside of A too. So just Yugi defending A, I guess. Wasn't that many at all. Oh, and Sunny was able to lurk at that outer wall. He somehow snuck by the defense. This is huge. Device can't cross. Nice round from Sunny. He's going to at least ensure that Entz is going to go into the second half with the lead. Good lurks from Sunny. Good openings provided by Sergey. And Entz have their first round on the board in the past six. And they're going to put an end to the Astralis streak. Eight to six now and a chance to grow that lead to three. Mostly being a lurk as Device rotates back. That might give him some space to work with. And it's going to drop down into Ramp Room. And they have the utility. There goes Sunny. Snappy and Device to defend. I don't see an entrance here. I don't even see the possibility of it. They need to start putting out utility. Good shot from Snappy. Another one added on top of it. And Snappy's going to get all final Ooh. three. Eight to seven in the favor of Entz. It was a great start. A really rough ending for Entz. This is not the same Astralis. They're going to be working on this. I'm not quite sure if they're ready to come back from this degree on Nuke on your T side. Sunny with an opening kill. And you can see Alu feels the safety at far back. And there goes Sunny back for a repeat and gives up the advantage. I feel like they're going to go upper. They, they yeah. almost feel like they have to. At this point, Astralis is going to assume that most of the defense has rotated into that lower bomb site. Snappy gonna get picked off. There's your headshot from Alu. And the, les the rest of these three players have nowhere to go. Yugi's got smoke flash, but what a long way to cross to get into that upper bomb set from outside. Surely Alu's gonna spot it, and indeed he will. Yeah, even if they're shooting at him, he's just gonna keep peeking it. Now they're also running out of time. Great headshot from the rear. It's pretty good, but I still actually think that doesn't that doesn't do that much to bring them out of the trouble they're in. 20 seconds, and maybe Yambi could get stopped here. Dupree sneaking in around and inside of the bomb side. A little bit of trouble. Oh no, he turns and jumping down. Yugi with a headshot as well. Stopping stopping Yampi. That's unbelievable. Ariel in a one versus three. I don't know how Ends gave this round back. Alu. Alu. Uh, yeah, I was I was gonna go on from there. I was trying to think of how to phrase it. There's no reason for Alu to take to take more peaks outside after he gets that kill. I guess the risk versus reward for Alu isn't that great either. Like at best he gets another kill in the round they probably already won, or and at worst <laughs> he gives the whole round back. So not that good. Sunny goes down again. It's the vice finding him. They have some kind of thing going on the two of them right now. Sergey and Yampi in a two on five to try and do something. I think Yampi's already maybe been spotted, or maybe it was just a casual shot through. Regardless, no one goes down here for the Astralis side, and they take the lead for the first time in the game, nine to eight. This this could be a bit dicey, and He's Yumpy is for denying it. access. Yeah, is you, I mean, he has to. Why not? Oh, oh this is going to be a, a, just an utterly chaotic round, because as they try and retake, they're going to discover that Astralis just spread out all across the map, and only really Magus is down there. This is so confusing. Dupree is going to be going down. Someone has to get close to that site soon for Enz to start to put some pressure on. A peak. I don't think Snappy's even, like, he must be wondering, why is Alu still here? Why is he not at least trying to retake? Device cruises in to find Yampi, and now it's all just him. In a one versus four at the moment. That bomb. Oh, grenade deep in. Is it going to be enough? There's one. A headshot as well. Oh, oh dear. That's a massive double kill. And Device saves the round for Astralis. That is so ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? 
goes for the fight and will be going down. He did a little bit of damage to Magus, but maybe not quite enough. Still, I mean, three versus four. Magus has managed to wrap around. The bomb is being planted here. And remember, Ents don't have that much equipment to work with. This is one of the really big problems. They currently no don't kit. have a kit picked up. Yeah. Ooh, Sunny still will get a kill on Magus, but Device and Yugi are left. And they have a Molotov on Yugi there. And no smokes on Ents, so this could be incredibly awkward if Yugi can find a way to throw that at the right time. And that right time is in the next, like, 10 seconds. Well, maybe less than five seconds. He's not going to throw anything. <laughs> Tagged up and killed, and there goes a little bit of a fight device again with a good angle. He's gonna drop one, he almost steals it away from them again. And 10 second defuse, I think they'll have it anyway, but... So far they're sneaky magazine, they're gonna explode, they're gonna crunch Sunny in here. Nice shot from Sunny, that's so important. They should be coming in from the other side, but I think Yampi picked up a kill too, so... This whole sandwich maneuver to take care of Sunny has just been completely slowed down, and... They shouldn't be allowed to do much more from here, Astralis, they're all tucked in this weird little corner. And with the AWP here from Alu, easy kill on Snappy. Good follow-up, and that is definitely going to be the round here. Device, one versus three, and all they have to do is not fight him one at a time. And I'm sure they can manage it. Nice, uh, incredible round, in fact, from Alu. Although the wall of smokes is set, perhaps to be confusing. As you can see, the odds still in the favor of Entz. But here comes the upper hit, maybe for not much longer. Entz didn't even see it coming. Oh, chasing him down there. He knows Ariel. He's got the right idea, but no one peeked. He's got to be. He's got to be hammering his keyboard. He's saying, "Why didn't you go and help out your teammate if you were already there?" One versus two now for Sunny, and yeah, he has a perfect read on where they both are. Some shots ringing through the bomb now. That Molotov is going to be a bit late. Oh, actually, the HE on top. That's a cool idea, but it doesn't really work out that way. Sunny getting the one, and now almost challenged. It's oh. a one on one. Magus with the Tech Nine on the other side. Sunny has the M4. He sprays and he picks. Him up. Huge win for Sunny. A nice triple and ends in the lead now. 12 to 11. I'm afraid to even ask, Jason. I just. You keep, <laughs> you keep that Sipnix to yourself. Uh, Sunny <laughs> will go down outside to device again, finding him all the time. Yeah, it started in the first half and it's continuing here. Ariel. Over towards the windows. Look at how much more aggressive and how much more fast-paced Astralis has gotten. Magus is already jumping up. Dupree is already wrapping into the upper bombsite from heaven, and that's going to be frustrating for Sergey. I think he probably thought Ariel was covering that just based off the radar. Even Yumpy in the site gives away his position, and he's in an impossible situation. Dupree wow. is going to keep this as close as possible. I'm sure there was, but I, you know, they just got everywhere so fast-paced. And I think that that had to have been something maybe they, they talked about. Maybe a change of pace is exactly what Astralis wanted to start pulling off, but... Sunny and Alu are both... I mean, they, they were so committed to being on the side of the map that really worries me. Ooh, that could have been a huge opening. They're trying to chase it down, but Sunny's waiting for the lines of a big double, and Ariel comes back. He was almost escaping. That is a nice turn of event for Enz. That's surely going to tie it up. 13-13. There are a couple of things that could have gone horribly wrong if... And let's see, can they successfully defend this? Also, yeah, Snappy over at Lobby. Great place to have him. He could come down the vents and try and do a lot. Ariel with one kill, but that's all he could get. Alu on the cross, gonna pick up the one, and there's Sergei getting picked off. Snappy waiting the whole time. It's just trading back and forth now. No bomb plant happening yet, and Yampi with the auto shotgun taking care of Snappy, and that's Yugi going <laughs> down last. Oh, God. That looked like it could have gone any which way, but good recovery from Enz, honestly. Alu, got to be careful as well that they don't get too close out here. He's got the right idea and a nice pick off on Magus. And they're boosting on the other side to try and catch him, but not quite there yet. Alu got very, very fortunate. I think he was maybe a half second from getting picked off. And that's a rare miss. Yugi. We'd love for Alu to peek. They'd love for someone else to come hang out here. But Alu will eventually peek. That's <laughs> not what they were hoping for when it comes to the peek. And again, maybe that wasn't even necessary. Yugi with a good kill, but 25 seconds here. And it's just a question of time before they find him there. 15 to 13, and map point for Enz. If they want even a chance of tying it up, then it's going to be some of these Tech Nines and Deagles leading the charge. Dupree's gone down. That was the AK on the ground, and nothing else comes of it. They catch Sergei, but look at the reply. Alu and Sunny both getting a kill, and now it's a 2 on 4 It's looking, looking increasingly likely that Enz will walk away with his victory. Magisk also dropping quite low on health, and I don't see a way through here. That AK has been picked up, but I don't think Yugi could do this on his own from the hut. 
<laughs> well, definitely not now. He's absolutely dead. What a great uh, amount of resilience. <laughs> Grenade to finish it. 16-13. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go.